To find the oxidation numbers for ZnOH2, this is zinc hydroxide, we'll use these rules here. We note that there's no negative or positive sign after the zinc hydroxide. That's because it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. There are two ways we could do this. One is we could recognize that this is the hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion has a charge of one minus. And since for an ion, the oxidation numbers will all add up to the charge on the ion. So the oxygen and the hydrogen, that adds up to this minus here. Two times the minus one, this has to be plus two. So we could figure out the charge on the zinc by looking at the hydroxide ion. We could also do it this way. We know everything adds up to zero. We know that hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, oxygen's a nonmetal, is plus one. Oxygen is gonna be minus two almost all the time. So we could call zinc X. Let's just set an equation up because everything equals zero. X plus two times minus two, that's minus four, plus two times plus one, that's plus two, would equal zero. So minus four and minus two, that gives us a minus two. X minus two equals zero. Add two to both sides, X will equal a positive two, which is what we found before. So the oxidation number on the zinc is plus two. And most of the time, zinc is going to have a plus two oxidation number. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for ZnOH2, zinc hydroxide. Thanks for watching.